Is iRacing too expensive? It's a question you've been asking us the most, and we're going to go straight into it. No sponsors, no nothing we need to say or not say. So we've done the maths, and we think iRacing, if you want to buy everything, costs about $2,000 at least to get every... To be like, you know, I've got everything in iRacing. Compare that with a set of course in Competizione, we think that's about 70 these days. So it's about 25 times more expensive yeah. than ACC. I'm here with Sam Professional Carter. Let's get straight into it. Is iRacing too expensive or is it worth it? it? For a new person, it's too expensive. I mean, we read the comments. We've, we've gone through all the comments. We've read them all. <laughs> it is expensive. It's mad expensive. For the first two or three years, it's so expensive for a new person to be in there. Yeah. Now, we're going to cover quite a few interesting things in this video from a diff few different angles. We're going to talk about what content is in iRacing. Is it individually too expensive or not? I want to. I was just looking at your helmet, Sam. Club 100. I don't know if we know how expensive it is at the moment to a season in Club 100, but it's almost certainly more expensive than the two thousand dollars to do a season of Club 100. Yes, I'd say so. So it's still, from the perspective of people who are coming from real world motorsport, it's not as expensive. So you'll have these people, probably some of you watching, you'll view it through that lens and be like, "Wow, compared to me getting the car up on the trailer and." getting the tyres and the fuel and the brake pads and going to the track and oh, yeah. mechanic and everything, this is a bargain. But I think most people are not like that, but it's important to bear that in mind. That's a real well, I mean, Club 100, it's price it's for one hour. Yeah. Every other week. Yeah. Whereas that costs more than I raced for a whole year. Yeah. And you can do that all day, every day. Yeah. So different um, sort of positions there. But let's say you're just not somebody who races in real life, so you're coming at this like, should I play iRacing over ACC or Gran Turismo or Forza? I wanted to run through some of the content because I'm on. they've updated this a few days ago. So these are the cars that you get included. Basically, you don't need to spend $2,000, no. I think. Or maybe you need to spend quite a bit of it. But let me know what you think, Sam. So the cars you now get included as part of your subscription, which is about... Forty dollars a year. 50? If you if you get it around the dis they do discounts all year, yeah. but yeah, it's about forty four forty about to fifty dollars. About forty to fifty dollars a year. You get included I don't want to say for free, so if I say for free, excuse me, but it's like it's part of this what you're paying, it's not free. You get the Cadillac CTS V, which is like a really hard to control race car. Dirt micro sprint. Which are great. That's new, right? Yep. The winged and the non winged. Yeah, dirt street stock. Dirt UP modified, I don't know about that. Formula V, which is absolute carnage. I'm not good in the Formula V. No downforce really on them. No. Tiny tyres. The Mazda MX-5 Cup, car that I've driven in real life. Unbelievable in iRacing. You can race you can race Mazdas all day, every day. The most popular series, I reckon. Yeah, it's a great car. Kia Optima, which I think shows up in some of the um, like T the mixed... Yeah, I think the TCR cards. Maybe. Legends Ford 34, I don't know about it. The Off-Road Pro, I don't know. You've got the old MX-5, the old MX-5 Roadster. You get the Radical SR8. I did not know that was included. The Ray FF 1600, I think that's an open wheeler. Pontiac Solstice. SCCA Spec Racer Ford, I don't know. The Street Stock for ovals, I believe. Toyota GR86 that's is now included. Car. So it's a great little road car. Yep. It's um, tin top, basically. VW Beetle, VW Beetle Lite, and the Jetta. Which you, which the GR86 replaced. Because uh, you know the production car cup. Yeah. The Jetta was in it. Okay, GR86 so it's basically replaced. been replaced. You also get a few legacy ones like the Lara DW12 and the NASCAR truck. So it's not a huge list, actually. And the thing is, it is spread between dirt ovals, ovals, ovals. All disciplines wheeling. are covered there. And an entry level, I would say. Yeah. So what they do, there's not really much missing at an entry level, I would say. But what you miss is you don't have any GT3s there, GTEs, LMP2s, hypercars, yeah. the NASCAR Cup cars and everything like that. So that's what you have to get, you have to buy if you want it to, to add it to the game. Let's go on to tracks now. So there's also a number of tracks included. There's actually more than I thought. So They added the load at new, with the at new the latest update. patch, yeah. So let's go through here and keep a keen eye and be like, would you be happy this being included in your subscription if you didn't want to pay anything extra? But we'll go into how the series work and actually how you can get money back in iRacing yeah. or credit back, which a lot of people don't know about. So we've got Century Petal Circuit, I don't know about. Charlotte Motor Speedway, absolutely great circuit. Get the oval and the Speedway. Bring back the Roval. 
bring back the Roval. I've won there in the special race. Strong memories. Circuit de Ledenon, which I think was a recent addition and some people rave about. Concord Speedway, I don't know. Daytona Rally Cross and Dirt Road is like inside Daytona. Yeah. Um, Langley Speedway, Lania National Speedway, don't know. Lime Milan Motorsport Park, don't know. Lime Rock Park, cracking little circuit Lime Rock Park that you can do in basically every car. Um, like horrendous chicane though, but Lime Rock Park <laughs> is, a, is a great circuit in Falls as well. Motorsport Arena Oscherschleben, I think was recently added. Um, Okayama International, my first ever iRacing race at Okayama International. Yep. Great circuit. Really good track. Open wheelers, GT Mazdas, like that big old bank sort of hairpin in the straight. That's for free. Not for free. Oran Park Raceway, little one. Autumn Park is included in the description. Which is very, I didn't know that until recently. But that's a great track. Yeah, if anyone tries to sell you Autumn Park, they're just scamming you. Don't buy it. <laughs> Oxford Plain Speedway, I don't know. Rudd Skogan Motor Centre, I think, was recently added. Yeah. Uh, I don't know too much about it, but people talk highly. One that was recently added to this free list, Snetterton. Never played it on the game yet. Crazy circuit. Bomb hole, whatever it is. Yeah. Mad corners. South Boston Speedway, I don't know. Southern National Motorsport Park. Summit Point is a great, another, like beginner like track like doing a low powered car it's a lot of fun Thompson Speedway Park this one may surprise you Sukuba Circuit is included really and again it feels like a little beginner circuit it in a does way, like. it's, it's, it's almost like a go-kart track yeah. isn't it it's small narrow twisty yeah that's a great track as well some of these ones coming up actually USA International I don't know Virginia International Raceway a lot of people ra rave yeah. about Laguna Seca is included as well I knew that one that's one I knew yeah Wild West Motorsport Park, Winton Motor Raceway, and then they've got some legacy ones. Now that is actually, I would say, on a sim like iRacing, where the handling model is so advanced, and now you've got wet weather as well, yeah. that goes on all of these circuits. Bear in mind as well, Formula, Formula V is a wet weather car. Car GR86 definitely is 100% of So you can go wet weather racing at all of these and the most advanced wet weather system we've ever seen in sim racing. There is more than enough there to get your tea stuck into. If you have the mentality coming into iRacing that you're like, I want to master these cars as if I'd bought them in real life, as yeah. if I'd bought a Mazda MX-5 or GR86, I'm telling you, that is absolutely plenty. But where the problems occur, Sam, is how the leagues actually work. Not the leagues are hosted racing the series. Yeah. Because they will take, there'll be like a Mazda series or a GR86 series. It will take you across multiple tracks but not all of them will be free. And that's the problem, I think. So what I believe, and I'm happy to be corrected in the comments, if both all the rookie series are free content, I'm happy to be corrected, but I'm pretty sure all rookie series are free content. I don't know about that. I could be wrong. Correct us. <laughs> yeah. But if, that, if what I'm saying is true, yes, it's £2,000 to get all the content, but if you're happy, you can spend your £40 a year subscription and you can race this free content. You get equally as much in this as you do in a lot of other games. Think of all those tracks you just mentioned, all those cars you just mentioned, mm. and you're just paying forty pound a year. Yeah, that's the same as buying a new game F one twenty three and then F one twenty four. It's the same price. Yeah, that's the advantage they have a subscription model that people's subscriptions are paying for all of this, and so as people subscribe to get the new content, it sort of spreads out the cost base, and they can yeah. give away the stuff for for free. Um, but definitely as you progress out of the rookies, you will end up having lots of circuits that are not included for free. Yeah. Like missing here is Silverstone, Spa, Nürburgring, um, I think Daytona, the Daytona actual circuit, um, you know, Twin Ring. I mean, you can tell we're both road racers. Yeah, we prefer the road <laughs> racers, but obviously the big, big uh, speedway is able to missing as well. Yeah. So then you need to be strategic. But there is a way you can get credits back, Sam. I don't know if you want to explain it, but it's a little known secret when it comes so to So iRacing have a participation type thing so iRacing is the 12 weeks they their seasons run for 12 weeks long if you compete in the same series for eight out of those 12 weeks you only have to do one race each week or each of those eight weeks um iRacing give a loyalty kind of bonus back it's ten dollars and i think that's for the if you do a and b license and if you do c and d license they give you seven dollars and i think they cap it at fifteen dollars a season and that's enough for a free track or yeah. a free car so you can so again they have that pathway that i don't think they advertise enough where you can really do all the master races you can do yeah 
and then be like, right, I want to get a GT3. Yeah. And ironically, for a game that has like virtually no UI, no career, for me, it's more involving and like from a gameplay perspective, it's more um, like immersive to buy your car than in Gran Turismo or Forza or any game where you get but like... is that because you're spending your real money? A, it's because you're spending money, but B, it's like, damn, this is actually my car and I'm going to race it and I'm really excited. Yeah. Because I feel like other like, especially the SimCade ones, they really just throw cars at you. Or like ACC just still throws cars at you. Well, yeah, I mean, I recently got to think about what you want to buy. You got to think the pros and cons. You'll go through it. Like, oh, this one would be good here. Watch all my reviews, obviously. <laughs> exactly. Um, whereas with other ones, you're not spending your real money. You're like, yeah, I'll just get that. Yeah. yeah I'll just get that. And then all of a sudden, you've got all the cars, and you're like, well, what do I use here? Yeah. So I think what we kind of are realizing in this video is that. Yes, you can go out and spend two grand on iRacing. We're both part of the, is it the 20% club? Yeah. Where we bought 40 pieces of content on iRacing just like I have more discount, which is like, I don't know if it's a badge of honour or shame. And also as well, if you buy three items at the same time, you get a discount as well. Yeah. So and that's even it. from the very start. They they obviously encourage you to, to buy stuff. But I think if you want if you know you want to have a library of like tracks and cars and... Yeah. Like last night, I was just, I had some free time. I was like, I'm going to go on and just, I had the availability to choose what I wanted to do. But if, you, if you're getting into sim racing, I really feel like if you have a PC that can run it, getting a, a half price or 40% off subscription to iRacing for a year, getting that base content and like appreciating the Mazda and the Formula V, yeah. getting your participation and then choosing what your next car is going to be. Are you going to go down the open wheel? Are you going to go down Well, roads? especially if they've, they've split it as well now, haven't they? So you can get your license. You'd have to contaminate your license, basically. Yeah. It's a really exciting and powerful way to get into sim racing. Yeah. So, yes, iRacing can be too expensive, but I don't feel like it needs to be. This is not sponsored by iRacing, by the way. I think I do have a um, like affiliate code if you want to sign up, but don't sign up until you've read absolutely everything you need to. But I think there are different ways to basically do iRacing. So hopefully that's helped. Make sure to subscribe. Go to Sim Race News if you want more guides on iRacing and we'll see you next time.